Hello fire signs. Welcome back to my channel presence of a goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a general message on what's going on this week for my fire signs. So if it resonates awesome, I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it'll resonate to. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below. And if it does not resonate, I do apologize. You can check your sun, moon, rising, and other placements in your chart, guys. All right, Trap, let's get ready to see what we got here. I already pulled out some cards. So I do have the death card for this week. So you guys are transforming before your own eyes, before others' own eyes. I do see some people really looking at you in awe on how far you have came, especially spiritually, okay? Because I do have the High Priestess and the Strength card. So I do feel like that Akashi record is being already downloaded to you guys. You might want to check that reading out. I will leave it down below. But um, yeah, you're getting spiritually strong. And you're actually getting a lot of downloads that is um, helping you become spiritually strong. I feel like you have ascended. I do have the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. Um, I feel like you are going to have a lot of dreams this week um, with a lot of messages. So you might want to look them up as you go and try to remember them. Put a uh, clear quartz or a amethyst under your pillow for um, strengthening of the dreams and for better sleep and better spiritual uh, messages. I do have the Three of Wands and the Two of Wands. I do feel like this week you have um, you are going to take a step back and observe your routine. And I do feel like you're going to see, like, plan your goals. I see a lot of planning and planting, okay? A lot of planning and planting so you can watch your goals grow and, uh, su and succeed. That's what I get. With the Two of Wands, I feel like there's going to be, like, maybe a choice you need to make. Um, make sure you're using your intuition and make sure you're meditating and try to get that guidance from spirit on what decision needs to be made um, for you to continue continue your transformation. But I do feel like you're going to look yourself in the mirror and realize how far you have came because I do have gratitude and I have expressing gratitude for where you are and what you currently have raises your vibration and shifts your focus from lack. Incorporating this into your practice can fast track manifestations and keep you in the present moment. So you might want to take that heat in that when you are making decisions. I feel like you're making better decisions this week. I feel like you have realized that there are some things that you need to work on. And I feel like you're elevating. And I feel like these downloads are really going to help you uh, further yourself. Especially this week, I feel like there's some progression in something with the King of Pentacles and the Temperance. Um, it either could be you and someone that you feel like you can see long term with. It could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Uh, somebody you want to work things out with and compromise and be with. If it's not a relationship, it is definitely a business or a job. Maybe you're trying to find a balance between work and play. I do feel like this week you are you're going to take a step out. Maybe get yourself out into the sun, sunbathing, or to a lake. I do see you... I see a lot of calmness. I see a lot of observing, a lot of focus. And you trying to figure out a balance between your life. And I feel like it's going to work out because look, I have the Ace of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay, this is you being a spiritual leader. Maybe you have a business as a tarot reader, a spiritual leader, or some sort of leadership. And it's going to boom. It's going to boom. There's a new beginning. I feel like there's a new way that you're doing things. Um, and I also feel like if you are with someone with different religious views, you guys are going to like compromise and come together in a way. Because this is what meant to happen. This could be a divine counterpart that could be an earth sign or a Sagittarius. Or you could be a Sagittarius and it could be an earth sign. Um, I do feel like people who did you dirty with the five of swords like maybe somebody is being deceptive in your circle and pretending like they want to work with you because i do have the three of pentacles and this could also be a job maybe a co-worker someone doing something dirty behind your back because they don't like you or something like that or maybe they feel stuck and they're trying to project that on you okay because they want you to feel stuck at a job or something like they don't or like stuck in general like they don't want you to move in your life because they see you progression and 
progressing <laughs> progressing and it's making them jealous it's, so be careful with the circle that you keep even if they're not in your circle be careful with the energy like maybe you need a sage and um really protect your energy because as much as you're spiritually strengthened people are really getting jealous on how far you came so i do see if you guys have children this week you guys are definitely spending time with your children i have the four of wands in the um the page of wands so definitely strength um strengthen where am i keep on saying that i guess spirit want me to keep on telling you you're spiritually strengthening but i do see like some some communication like your children are going to behave this week i do see some communication about a home for somebody somebody who was planning on moving or needed some like rent assistance you're going to get communication this week about that with the page of cups you could get offered like offered a home or something like that or some or a home that you've been inquiring about you are going to get communication about it but i also feel like there's just in general uh, good communication going on in your home life like i said you could be compromising with someone um about your different views and just realizing that it's better to work together than work against each other type situation and then i have the full card with the emperor so somebody could be starting a new job or just a new life in general but i also see this is a new um, direction in someone's business and if it's not a business it's definitely a new job i also see someone like taking control of their life like starting a new way that they're doing things and like that's really putting all eyes on you you're looking good this week i feel like you're gonna really upkeep yourself and just like really embrace your um your outer appearance because maybe you've been in hermit mode for a while but i do see you changing up yourself and changing up your look maybe and because i do have the full part so yeah this could definitely be you changing up your look I feel like it's changing your mindset and really taking control of your life. Someone could definitely be thinking about buying an Ankh, um, which is a start of a, like eternal life. Um, so definitely be studying like comedic. Maybe somebody is really being drawn to a different type of um, part of their life, part of their spiritual journey, a different type of learning. Just for right now, I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you're going to learn a lot of things because of the Akashic Record, but that's one of them, possibly. And so, with the Ace of Pentacles in the world, there's an ending of a chapter that's ending. There's an end of a cycle. I feel like you self-master something because I'm seeing 3-3 three, three in my head. And then I have um, the Ace of Pentacles, and you're about to be blessed. And I kept on saying, like, get out of their way, get out of their way. So, definitely people who've been doing you dirty are about to get their karma. And you know it's the um, new moon and Libra. Not new moon and Libra. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is the um, the Mercury retrograde. But something about the new moon and Libra. So, definitely there was a shift of an energy for you. But definitely when it comes out of the um, Mercury retrograde, there's definitely a in and of a cycle because you know there's communication that I feel like it's going to be worked out. And you know that's the main purpose of the new Libra, the new moon in Libra. But I have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are definitely going to go your way. You're being blessed. And I see two circles. I see completion. And I see new beginnings. I see something loading. So definitely something loading this week of a blessing this is about to be like you're about to end a karmic cycle this week and something is about to move forward um i feel like your energy is shifting to the blessings you've been waiting for because you have overcame a lot and have passed a lot of tests and i feel like you have realized that it's all because of the most high you stay prayed up and then you are very protected and i feel like this week you should definitely show gratitude to your ancestors angels and your spirit guides and the most high of all because they're definitely um doing all this for you you could definitely be single and even if you're not single, you're just very independent and you're very guided. Look at that bird on top of the head. You're very guided by spirit. You are very abundant. You're about to be abundant. And it's all because of the hard work that you have done. Look at her in the garden. You are about to reap the fruits of your labor. And I am so excited to hear this about you guys. Okay, so I feel like you just need to be careful of the naysayers. Um, people who are talking negative about you, just um, cancel them out. Because, like I said, as more of it, more as you ascend, the more they're gonna hate, or the more they're gonna try to get in your energy. Um, we not worried about that, okay? Because karma is on their thought, 
see i was about to say star <laughs> look at this karma is on their side karma is on your side good karma is on your side bad karma is on their side and you are about to be a star better change is coming this is change and this is better change and this is you being a star like i said someone could be um like a, a spiritual leader and this is definitely your time to shine and people are really listening to you so make sure you keep on learning this week and make sure you keep um practicing what you preach okay my fire, fire signs i hope this resonate if it did you know what to do support your girl until next time